High stakes getting even higher as Turkey's presidential election ended inconclusively on Sunday, meaning Turks are set to return to the polls for the second time this month. I do not think that any political party is happy with the current situation at the moment. Neither are we. Of course, everyone would like to see their party or presidential candidate win. We'll see when we vote again in 15 days. I'm also saying people will be given time to think. Incumbent President Recep Tayyip Erdogan walked away with around 49% of the vote. A narrow lead over his main challenger, Kemal Kilic Darolo, who received close to 45%. Candidates need more than 50% of the vote to win outright in the first round. Both, however, claim to be successful. We have already surpassed our closest competitor by 2.6 million votes. I believe that this figure will only rise higher. From the numbers, we can see that we will definitely win this second election. Turks also came out in high numbers to cast their ballots. Many of them also reeling from a cost of living crisis, the influx of Syrian refugees, theocratic policies, government corruption and a devastating earthquake. I want justice and equality for Turkey's future. The situation is our country isn't good at the moment. I want the conditions to change and get what we deserve because right now we are heading toward darkness and downfall. And yet, despite a very difficult few months, Turkey's dominant president appears, for now, to have the upper hand, both among the voters and the parliament. What remains to be seen is if he can hold on to his 20-year grip on power, or if the stage will be set for a change in political direction.